Let's go now from a Democrat to a Republican. Republican Congressman Greg Murphy appeared on sick, brown nosing Trump sycophant Maria Bartiromo's Fox News show, and he had the gall, the testicular fortitude, the audacity to say that Biden's state right now, his state of being is like when Hitler was in his bunker, which of course culminated in Hitler taking his own life and that of Eva Braun. That's the analogy that uh, Murphy makes. Listen to this. And, and what would you say about the path of some of these disorders? I mean, is this something that can be stable for a long time? And, uh, you know, even even though yeah. you, or does it progress worse? Well, it's everybody's different with Parkinson's. Again, I'm not a Parkinson's physician, but I take care of older individuals. On his medicine list, there was not anything, something called L -L level dopa or some of the other things that we see, but we don't know if the list is really being true of medications that are there to control symptoms. We don't see the cogwheeling that we saw with Hitler in his final days. That's what they have when they have this tremor. And so I, I just think we're being lied to. There you go. It's sort of a, so you got to consider Hitler's condition in the bunker, but we're being lied to here. Listen, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If Biden has early stage Parkinson's, for which at this point we don't have any proof, there was one doctor I think that showed up on NBC and said it sort of looks like very early stage Parkinson's. Uh, look up early stage and even second stage Parkinson's, and you will see that almost everyone with the earliest or the second earliest stage of Parkinson's can do just about everything that they were doing before. Am I going to? I don't believe at this time that I have the evidence to say Biden has Parkinson's. And remember, they did Hillary Parkinson's, too, and that turned out to be false. But let's concede maybe Biden has early, early stage Parkinson's. So what? Look at what he's accomplished in his first term. Look at the fact that the alternative is a civilly liable rapist, convicted felon, anti-democratic, authoritarian, fascist wannabe who said he'd be a dictator on day one. I'm going to go and vote for that or stay home or write in Jill Stein because Biden maybe has early stage Parkinson's. Now, again, if he does have it, it should be at some point made public by the White House. Uh, but at this point, we don't have any evidence of that. The reason I'm talking about it in these terms is assume that what they are saying is true. It still doesn't change anything about who I would vote for in November. The question I have for you and I hope you'll write in info at davidpackman.com and tell me is if it turned out that your options are Trump with everything we know to be true about him and Biden with first stage uh, Paul, uh, uh, Parkinson's, then what? Then who do you vote for? How does that change what you believe is best for the country? And by the way, now I'm di did I say Alzheimer's instead of Parkinson's at some point during the segment? If I did, I've been meaning to talk about Parkinson's the entire time. Uh, let, me, let me clarify that. And I'm, I'm now having one of those doubts where I'm like, did I misspeak during this? We're talking about first stage Parkinson's versus Trump. Does it make a difference to you in who you vote for? To me, it does not. Data brokers are constantly collecting huge amounts of information about what you do online, your address, phone number, email, financial info, even your political affiliation. And they sell that information to other companies. The FBI will sometimes even buy data in bulk to get information about Americans without a warrant. Your ex-girlfriend, your boss, anyone out there can use the publicly available data on search sites to find information about you. It's super easy. And worst of all, these data broker systems get hacked all the time which really puts your data at risk, which is why you can end up getting scam calls and emails and the whole thing. The solution to all of this is our sponsor Incogni. Incogni sends data removal requests to all major data brokers who are required by law to remove the information upon request. If any of the information stays online, Incogni will follow up about removal and Incogni keeps you updated with details every step so you know what's going on and when the info is removed. What Incogni can accomplish is amazing. I use it myself. Go to incogni.com slash Pacman and you'll get 60% off with the code Pacman. The link is down below.